So I woke up this morning and I had no intention of filming a video. It was my intention. I wanted to film a couple of videos and I wanted to plan out the next week and what I'm going to be doing and stuff. Of which that happened. I did spend the morning planning my week and looking at the stuff I've got coming up within my business, um, personal stuff as well, making sure that I've got enough time to do everything over the coming week. And Sunday's always a day where I like to do that. I always like to go into the following week prepared, knowing exactly what's coming up. I hate being in that kind of reactive mindset where I don't know anything and I can't plan. So I always like to make sure the week before I know exactly what's going on, when everything's happening and leaving myself a little buffer as well should anything crop up that I don't account for. So today I had two videos planned that I wanted to film and I kind of normally I get into the spell of like I'm gonna do this I'm gonna get it done um, and I've been doing really well with that recently but today I just couldn't get there like I say I woke up with a bit of a headache and I decided to use the morning to um, plan out my week and, 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 and get myself prepared I was already on top of things because I did all my meal prep yesterday and normally again I do that at the weekend normally on a Sunday prepping my food for the following week so I'm like literally prepared with everything and yeah it got to uh, I, I had my lunch I came up to the uh, office up here and I came to film a couple of videos and I just didn't feel inspired to do it and I was trying to do it I was trying to talk to the camera but then I realized all I was doing was forcing myself I didn't feel comfortable with that I didn't feel like I was coming across like genuine I felt like I was just acting in front of the camera and I didn't want to do that so I decided in the end, like after about 10 to 15 minutes of just playing around, I decided in the end, you know what? I know when's enough's enough and I'm just forcing this now. It doesn't feel right. So we're going to try again tomorrow or later on. I might feel good in a couple of hours and do it again. I think it's important to realize that and be self-aware of that from time to time. I'm not sure if you're someone who needs to hear that right now, whether you're going through something like this, but if stuff isn't feeling quite right at the time or you've got other things on your mind that are preventing you from feeling free and being able to create with an open mind, then don't force it. Give yourself that time and give yourself that time to just be and be present. You know, I made myself a coffee and I've just come and sat and been staring out at the lake um, the past sort of 20 minutes or so. There's been a thunderstorm that's just passed over. A lot of thunderstorms at the moment. And it's been nice just to sit here and just watch the world go by for a while. I think as well at the moment, I'm really missing my family. My mum sent me a card over from the UK, just letting me know that she's thinking of me and the family's thinking of me. And in the card were three photos of my family. I'm not gonna lie, it did bring a little tear to my eye and you know, it's um, it's so nice to have those, but it also um, it's also a trigger and makes me realize just how much uh, I have been away the last year and I have really missed my family. And I think that's gonna have a big impact on the decisions that I'm gonna be making over the next few weeks and months as to where I'm gonna go with things. Because I did have kind of an idea how the next year was going to plan out and what I was going to be doing but actually now I'm thinking of completely changing my mind and going back to something that I was going to do a couple of years ago and there's a lot of reasons for that and I'll try and explain those to you guys over the coming vlogs and stuff so that you can get a bit of an idea as to where my head's at, the reason behind my thinking, and maybe it'll help you if you're looking at trying to make some big decisions in life and you're perhaps not sure where to go and you're trying to juggle a few things and come up with how to manage all of that and where you're going to be going in life. You never know. There's more thunder. It's so cool to sit here and listen to the thunder. I think it's just really important though to, like I say, give yourself time and when things don't feel particularly right just don't take any action don't move forward right then just give yourself a little bit of space because you might surprise yourself by doing that it's incredible how that can just clear your mind and you can feel so much better and even just after an hour or two you're able to then move on with what you want to do i think for me this is like one of the best ways in which I learn it's just by listening to other people's stories it's why I'm so passionate about now wanting to just share my story and my journey and where I've been what I'm doing right now and where I'm going that's an airboat <laughs>
And here's the thing, like hearing other people's stories and where they've come from and where they're going and the reason behind their thinking, if you can then relate to that, it then helps you realize that actually you're not on your own or you're not the only person who's been through this. I'm actually starting to go through my own health and fitness journey right now. Uh, I've really struggled with my weight and my body over the past few years and I feel it's really important to document it and share it with people. So again, that can be a story that people can relate to and they can see the journey from and where I've come from to where I am now and then where I want to go and they can keep following that journey and hopefully that serves as some inspiration for them. That was a huge bolt of lightning that just landed over there. Anyway, I digress. All I wanted to say was that I feel by just sharing these stories, hopefully it's gonna, you'll be able to relate to my stories and even if one thing I say manages to have an impact in your life, then that's kind of cool and that's the reason I wanna do this. I think the moral of today's story though is, you know, if you wanna call it that, if you wanna call it a story, is it's okay not to be okay. Give yourself time, give yourself permission not to be okay and don't ever force things like if it doesn't feel quite right at the time that's okay it's okay not to film videos it's okay not to go out right now it's okay just to sit here and watch the world go by and drink a coffee uh, at the end of the day your happiness your mindset is number one um, and you got to look after that so as I said at the beginning I'm not sure if you're somebody who needs to hear this today but if you do I really hope it helps mm -hmm.